Okay, so the first thing I'm going to try is just a one ounce silver round. And we should be on number 12. And on number 12 on my list is the one ounce silver coins. So if it flashes up on number 12, it's one ounce silver round. Okay, next coin is a 50% silver half crown. English. Right, what do we get? We've got number 9. Okay, number 9 is half crown 50%. Now I'm going to try a two shilling, 50% English. And we're getting a number nine as well. So, yep, yeah, that's alright. Now we're going to try a one shilling, English, 50% silver. Now we're going to try a sixpence, fifty percent silver, English. So it's a bit in between you that one, seven. number eight so that's a sixpence obviously we're in the air which is going to cause a bit of problem rather than being in the ground right so we've got a three pence here fifty percent silver English so that's coming in at number six is it yeah, a three pence, fifty percent is number six. Right, what the coins have we got? Right, the other thing I was going to test: an aluminium. You'll you'll dig up loads of these. Bottle can a uh, uh, tin. Uh. That gives us a reading number four. Try aluminium can, and that's how you'll find them in the ground often. <laughs> you dig them up, and you think they're treasure. So that's on number nine, I think. Yeah, number nine. So that's the problem. Number nine. It's the same as a half crown, which is the same as a two shilling, which is the same as a two p copper, and a one p copper, and an aluminium can. But if you're like me and you're into blast furnacing and all that, all aluminium is good, doesn't matter. I'll collect the aluminium and I'll melt it down and make something out of it. Alright, so, okay, we've got some junk silver here, hallmarked, sterling silver. You know, that would be nice to find in the ground, wouldn't it? Right, so let's test that. What have we got? A number nine? So 
9 or 10 junk silver. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, um, a gold sovereign. Gold Sovereign is number seven. And okay, what else have we got we can try quickly? Okay, a nine carat gold chain. So yeah, hopefully you can. That will help everybody who's in England who's got a Garrett 250 that um, hasn't got maybe things to test it with. Um, so you can have a rough idea. So if you count the numbers and then watch video back, you'll see what um, is good for what. Okay, I found some other things to test. I've got um, a few uh, gold rings. So this is a 18 karat gold ring. This is a nine carat gold ring. That's number six. This is another nine carat gold ring. slightly different eight yeah that's all right so obviously this coin they're all hallmark all hallmarked this one obviously has got a slightly different grade because it's nine carat gold it must be a different mix of metals to the other nine carat It has patterned the ripping imprint on the pages of history since the beginning of time. time.